Joe was feeling kind of lonesome. His brother and his wife had run away. His truck had lost its shocks and his gun rack was in hock. So I thought he might enjoy the SCA. Well, I handed him a beaded velvet bag and a party colored brocade coat hardy. He said, I can't wear that. May as well wear a feathered hat. So I give him one and I said, listen to me. That ain't a dress, it's a tunic. That ain't a purse, it's a pouch. Those ain't tights there. Hell, have another beer. It'll keep you from vegging on the couch. At the meeting I said, you'll now be called Josephus. <laughs> and I know you think Toledo's where you're bored. He said, in Spanish I got Steve's, so Toledo's fine with me. And I said, you reside in Rothskier's Fjord. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to get between them and the exit. Give him a glass of mead so he would stay. He said, where's my Bud Light? I said, hush, you'll start a fight. <laughs> Just listen to what I got to say. That ain't a dress, it's a tunic. That ain't a purse, it's a pouch. Those ain't tights there. Go oh, hell, have another beer. It keep you from becoming such a grouch. Now, Joe was never really good at high school, at languages and prose and learning rhymes. Civics was a mystery and he failed to learn from history. He was doomed to repeat it three times. <laughs> but he was always pretty good at scrapping. So I took him to the list so he could train. He took a hit below his shirt where no man ought to hurt. And he looked at, uh, I said to him as he looked at me in pain, That ain't a dress, it's a tunic. That ain't a purse, it's a pouch. Those ain't tights there, oh hell, have another beer. Straighten up or you'll be in a permanent crouch. Now, I've got to pause here and give credit where it's due because you see, the words that become the, the chorus of this song were first spoken to me by one Kvelhofen Ulf Grimson, old Raffi. <laughs> he used to call him that, but uh, well, he ain't with us no more. He's in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joe thought that he weren't cut out for Penzik, and he seemed to have a real bad case of sad. Oh, I know a thing or three about skating therapy. There ain't nobody lonesome down at Blast. <laughs> Even Hamlet were no good at parties. So I took him to the gate, give him a shove. He found himself a she who was more depressed than he. And she whispered in his ears these words of love. That ain't a dress, it's a tunic. That ain't a purse, it's a pouch. Those ain't tights, they're all honey and another beer. It's period to live life in a slouch. <laughs> Joe and his lady started traveling widely. His truck is fixed, his gun rack holds a sword. He bought memberships for life for his brother and his wife. And he's the owner of a record duct tape horn. <laughs> One day at Troll, he heard a youngster whining about the loner garb he had to use. Joe took him by the scruff and he said, I've had enough. I've got some good advice you can't refuse. That ain't a dress, it's a tunic. That ain't a purse, it's a pouch. Those ain't tights there. Oh, hell. Uh, son, are you a legal drinking age? <laughs> Let's go have a homebrew beer. You'll become a happy skating in the vouch. <laughs>